Smarta tradition Smarta is a movement in Hinduism that developed during its classical period around the beginning of the Common Era. It reflects a Hindu synthesis of four philosophical strands, Mimamsa, Advaita, Yoga, and Theism. The Smarta tradition rejects theistic sectarianism, and it is notable for the domestic worship of five shrines with five deities, all treated as equal, Vishnu, Shiva, Brahma, Ganesha and Devi Shakti. The Smarta tradition contrasted with the older Shrauta tradition, which was based on elaborate rituals and rites. There has been considerable overlap in the ideas and practices of the Smarta tradition with other significant historic movements within Hinduism, namely Shaivism, Brahmanism, Vaishnavism, and Shaktism. The Smarta tradition is aligned with Advaita Vedanta, and regards Adi Shankara as its founder or reformer. Shankara championed the ultimate reality as impersonal and Nirguna attributeless and any symbolic god serves the same equivalent purpose. Inspired by this belief, the Smarta tradition followers, along with the five Hindu gods include a sixth impersonal god in their practice. The tradition has been called by William Jackson as Advaitin, monistic in its outlook. The term smarta also refers to Brahmins who specialize in the smriti corpus of texts named the Griya Sutras, in contrast to Shrauta Sutras. Smarta Brahmins with their focus on the smriti corpus, contrast from Shrauta Brahmins who specialize in the sruti corpus, that is rituals and ceremonies that follow the Vedas. Etymology Smarta Smarta is an adjective derived from Smriti Sanskrit, Smarta Smarta, IPA, S, Mr. T, I. The Smriti are a specific body of Hindu texts usually attributed to an author, traditionally written down but constantly revised, in contrast to Srutis the Vedic literature considered authorless, that were transmitted verbally across the generations and fixed. Smarta has several meanings. Relating to memory. Recorded in or based on the Smriti. Based on tradition, prescribed or sanctioned by traditional law. Orthodox Brahman versed in or guided by traditional law and Vedanta doctrinine Smarta tradition context, the term Smarta means, follower of Smriti. Smarta is specially associated with a sect founded by Shankaracharya, states Monier Williams. History See also Late Middle Kingdoms, the Late Classical Age and Classical Hinduism c. 200 BC, AD 1100 the Vedanga texts, states Alf Hiltbeitel, are Smriti texts that were composed in the second half of the Vedic period that ended around 500 BCE. The Vedanga texts include the Kalpa Vedanga texts consisting of the Sraudasutras, Griyasutras and Dharmasutras, many of which were revised well past the Vedic period. The Griyasutras and Dharmasutras, states Hiltbeitel, were composed between 600 BCE and 400 CE, and these are sometimes called the Smartasutras, the roots of the Smriti tradition. The Smriti texts accept the knowledge in the Sruti Vedas, but they interpret it in a number of ways, which gave rise to six darsanas orthodox schools of Hindu philosophy. Of these, states Hiltbeitel, the Mimamsa and Vedanta have sometimes been called the Smarta schools which emphasize the Vedas with reason and other pramanas, in contrast to Hetuka schools which emphasize Hechu cause, reason, independent of the Vedas while accepting the authority of the Vedas. 
Of the two Smarta traditions, Mimamsa focused on Vedic ritual traditions, while Vedanta focused on Upanishadic knowledge tradition. Around the start of the Common Era, and thereafter, a syncretism of Hetuka schools Nyaya, Vaisheshika, Samkhya, and Yoga, the Smarta schools Mimamsa, Vedanta, with ancient theistic ideas Bhakti, Tantric, gave rise to a growth in traditions such as Shaivism, Vaishnavism, and Shaktism. Hiltbeitel and Flood locate the origins of a revived orthodox Smarta tradition in the early classical period of Hinduism, particularly with nondualist Advaita interpretation of Vedanta, around the time when different Hindu traditions emerged from the interaction between Brahmanism and local traditions. Topic: The synthesis. The revived Smarta tradition attempted to integrate varied and conflicting devotional practices, with its ideas of nondual experience of Atman self, soul, as Brahman. The rapprochement included the practice of Pankayatana Puja five shrine worship, wherein a Hindu could focus on any saguna deity of choice such as Vishnu, Shiva, Durga, Surya or Ganesha, as an interim step towards realizing the Nirguna Brahman. The growth of this Smarta tradition began in the Gupta period 4th-5th century CE, and likely was dominated by Dvija classes, in particular the Brahmins, of the early medieval Indian society. This Smarta tradition competed with other major traditions of Hinduism such as Shaivism, Vaishnavism, and Shaktism. The ideas of Smarta tradition were historically influential, creative with concepts such as of Harihara half Shiva, half Vishnu deity and Ardhanarishvara half woman, half man deity, and many of the major scholars of Shaivism, Vaishnavism, Shaktism and Bhakti movement came out of the Smarta tradition. Recognition of Smarta as a tradition Medieval era scholars such as Vedanta Desika and Vallabhacharya recognized Smarta tradition as competing with Vaishnavism and other traditions. According to Jeffrey Tim, for example, in verse 10 of the Tattvarthadi Panabandha, Vallabhacharya states that Mutually contradictory conclusions are non-contradictory when they are considered from their respective contexts, like Vaishnava, Smarta, etc. According to Murray Milner Jr., a professor of sociology, the Smarta tradition refers to Hindus who tend toward Brahmanical orthodoxy in both thought and behavior. Smartas are usually committed to a relatively unified Hinduism, and they reject extreme forms of sectarian isolationism, reminiscent of the European discourse about church and Christian sects. The tradition, states Milner, has roots that emerged sometime between 3rd century BCE and 3rd century CE, likely in response to the growth of Jainism and Buddhism. It reflected a Hindu synthesis of four philosophical strands, Mimamsa, Advaita, Yoga and Theism. Smarta tradition emerged initially as a synthesis movement to unify Hinduism into a non-sectarian form based on the Vedic heritage. It accepted Varnasrama Dharma, states Bruce Sullivan, which reflected an acceptance of Varna caste, class, and Ashrama four stages of human life as a form of social and religious duty. In the later second half of the first millennium, Adi Shankara reformed and brought ideas to the movement in the form of the Advaita Vedanta philosophy. According to Upinder Singh, the Smarta tradition's religious practice emerged as a transformation of Brahmanism and can be described as Hinduism. Smarta as a tradition emphasized all gods as equal and different ways of perceiving the all-pervasive metaphysical impersonal Brahman. Smarta Brahmins 
The adjective smarta is also used to classify a Brahmin who adheres to the Smriti corpus of texts. Smarta Brahmins specialize in the Smriti corpus of texts, are differentiated from Srauta Brahmins who specialize in the Sruti corpus of texts such as the Brahmanas layer embedded inside the Vedas. Smarta Brahmins are also differentiated from Brahmins who specialize in the Agamic non-Vedic, Tantra literature such as the Adi Shaiva Brahmins, Sri Vaishnava Brahmins and Shaiva Kashmiri Pandits. However, these identities are not clearly defined, and active groups such as Agamic Smarta Seva Brahmins have thrived. <laughs> Smarta Visvakarmas Visvakarmas are artisans found in South India, such as in the state of Karnataka. They are known for their traditional expertise and skills as blacksmiths, carpenters, coppersmiths, sculptors and goldsmiths. Smarta Visvakarmas are vegetarian artisans who follow the Smarta tradition. They contrast with Vaishnava Visvakarmas who follow the Vaishnavism tradition of Hinduism and some of whom may consume non-vegetarian food. The remarriage of widows is a tradition found among the Smarta Visvakarmas, but has been atypical among Vaishnava Visvakarma. According to Brouwer, examples of Smarta Visvakarmas include Nilagunda Panta, traditionally blacksmiths and carpenters, Kunar Panta, all five artisan trades, and Madapater, goldsmiths. The Smarta Visvakarmas are not considered to be Brahmins. Topic. Philosophy and practices Topic. Saguna and Nirguna Brahman According to Smartism, Supreme Reality, Brahman, transcends all of the various forms of personal deity. The Smartas follow an orthodox Hindu philosophy, which means they accept the Vedas, and the ontological concepts of Atman and Brahman therein. The Smarta tradition accepts two concepts of Brahman, which are the Saguna Brahman, the Brahman with attributes, and Nirguna Brahman, the Brahman without attributes. The Nirguna Brahman is the unchanging reality, however, the Saguna Brahman is posited as a means to realizing this Nirguna Brahman. The concept of the Saguna Brahman is considered in this tradition to be a useful symbolism and means for those who are still on their spiritual journey, but the Saguna concept is abandoned by the fully enlightened once he or she realizes the identity of their own soul with that of the Nirguna Brahman. A smarta may choose any saguna deity such as Vishnu, Shiva, Durga, Surya, Ganesha or any other, and this is viewed in smarta tradition as an interim step towards realizing the Nirguna Brahman and its equivalence to one's own Atman. Panchayatana Puja The Smartas evolved a kind of worship which is known as Panchayatana Puja. In this Puja, one or more of the five Hindu deities Surya, Shiva, Vishnu, Ganesha and Devi or Shakti are the objects of veneration. The five symbols of the major gods are placed on a round open metal dish called Panchayatana, the symbol of the deity preferred by the worshipper being in the center. A similar arrangement is also seen in the medieval temples, in which the central shrine housing the principal deity is surrounded by four smaller shrines containing the figures of the other deities. Some of the Smartas of South India add a sixth god Kartikya According to Basham, M. Any upper-class Hindus still prefer the way of the Smartas to Seva and Vaisnava forms of worship. Topic. Shankara and Advaita Vedanta 
Traditionally, Sri Adi Shankaracharya 8th century is regarded as the greatest teacher and reformer of the Smarta tradition. According to Hiltbeitel, Adi Shankaracharya established the nondualist interpretation of the Upanishads as the touchstone of a revived Smarta tradition. Practically, Adi Shankara Acharya fostered a rapprochement between Advaita and Smarta orthodoxy, which by his time had not only continued to defend the Varnasramadharma theory as defining the path of Karman, but had developed the practice of Pinkayatanapuha five shrine worship, as a solution to varied and conflicting devotional practices. Thus one could worship any one of five deities Vishnu, Shiva, Durga, Surya, Ganesha as one's Istadavada, deity of choice. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Texts. Smartas follow the Hindu scriptures. Like all traditions within Hinduism, they accept as an epistemic premise that Sruti Vedic literature is a reliable source of knowledge. The Sruti includes the four Vedas including its four layers of embedded texts, the Samhitas, the Brahmanas, the Aranyakas and the early Upanishads. Of these, the Upanishads are the most referred to texts, the identity of Atman and Brahman, and their unchanging, eternal nature, are the basic truths in this tradition. The emphasis in Vedic texts here is the jnana kanda knowledge, philosophical speculations in the Upanishadic part of the Vedas, not its karma kanda ritual injunctions. Along with the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita and Brahma Sutras are the central texts of the Advaita Vedanta tradition, providing the truths about the identity of Atman and Brahman and their changeless nature. The Brahma Sutra is considered as the Nyaya Prasthana, canonical base for reasoning. The Bhagavad Gita is considered as the Smriti Prasthana. The text relies on other smritis, such as the Vedangas, Itahasa, Dharmasastras, Puranas and others. Some of this smriti literature incorporated Shramanic and Buddhist influences of the period from about 200 BC to about AD 300 and the emerging Bhakti tradition into the Brahmanical fold. Topic. Institutions The Smarta tradition includes temples and monasteries. More Smarta temples are found in West and South India, than in North India. Monasteries Adi Shankara is one of the leading scholars of the Smarta tradition, and he founded some of the most famous monasteries in Hinduism. These have hosted the Dasanami Sampradaya under four mathas, with the headquarters at Dwarka in the west, Jagannatha Puri in the east, Sringeri in the south and Badrinath in the north. Each math was headed by one of his disciples, called Shankaracharya, who each independently continued the Advaita Vedanta Sampradaya. The ten Shankara-linked Advaita monastic orders are distributed as follows, Bharati, Puri and Saraswati at Sringeri, Aranya and Vana at Puri, Tirtha and Ashrama at Dwarka, and Jiri, Parvata and Sagara at Badrinath. The mathas which Shankara built exist until today, and continue the teachings and influence of Shankara. The table below gives an overview of the four largest Advaita mathas founded by Adi Shankara. Shankara, and their details. However, evidence suggests that Shankara established more mathas locally for Vedanta studies and its propagation, states Hartmut Scarf, such as the four mathas in the city of Trichur alone, that were headed by Trotaka, Sureshvara, Hastamalaka and Padmapada. The Sringeri Sharada Monastery founded by Jagat Guru Sri Adi Shankaracharya in Karnataka is the center of the Smarta sect. Other Advaita Vedanta mathas following Smarta tradition include 
Svarnavali Matha at Swarnavali near Sodhi, Sursi, Karnataka Ramachandrapura Math at Hariya, Hosanagara, Karnataka Kanshi Matha, at Kanchipuram, Tamil Nadu Chitrapur Math, Shirali, Karnataka Sri Gaudapadacharya Math, Kavail, Panda, Goa Sri Samsthan Daboli Math, Daboli, Goa Jainanishwari Peeth, Karki, Hanavar Topic. Prominent Smarta teachers Some of the prominent Smarta teachers Topic. Influence Vaithispara notes the adherence of the Smarta Brahmins to the Pan Indian Sanskrit Brahmanical tradition and their influence on pan-Indian nationalism. The emerging pan-Indian nationalism was clearly founded upon a number of cultural movements that, for the most part, reimagined an Aryocentric, neo-Brahmanical vision of India, which provided the ideology for this hegemonic project. In the Tamil region, such a vision and ideology was closely associated with the Tamil Brahmins and, especially, the Smarta Brahmins who were considered the strongest adherents of the pan-Indian Sanskrit Brahmanical tradition. See also Neo-Vedanta Advaita Vedanta Ishta Deva Smirana Notes <laughs> <laughs>